heard someone talking about these United Nations global goals. Oh, yeah. Yes. Pipe Great. dream, right? Well, Never no. Never going to happen. Nice if it did. I mean, there would be no yeah, poverty. Yeah. I mean, that would be really nice. Just not climate change on its ass. I, yeah, praise yeah. the Lord. And injustice and inequality. Hallelujah. So. Yes. I hate that stuff. So unjust, so unequal, right? But listen, I guess you got to face the facts, Billy. Okay, it's never going to happen. Bucket of nuts to get this sort of big stuff done. You'd have to get every single country in the world to agree to work on it. Yeah, that's, that's what the global goals are. No, I mean every single country. Yes, 193 countries. Okay, okay. Well, look, that's all very well saying, oh, wouldn't it be nice for everything to be completely sorted? But here's what you would have to do. You got to deal with all the tough shit. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's what the SDGs do. 169 different targets. Every single thing analyzed and organized. The most forensic study of society in history. Right. But then nothing happens. <laughs> yeah, except that uh, some countries have completely adopted them. Yeah. yeah, these tiny little pretend countries with eight people and a king. Countries that no one's ever heard of. Denmark, Rwanda, Japan? Okay, I, I mean, I've heard of those. But look, let's get serious for a second, okay? Mm -hmm. Because I'm a serious guy. You are. And I understand exactly how the world works. Well, yeah. And this kind of thing is never going to happen without big business. Like Unilever. Yes. Vodafone. Yes. Coca-Cola. No, I'm good, actually. I've been trying to cut down. The, the truth is that huge businesses have got on board. Wow. OK. The big business boys want to get in bed with the United Nations. Yeah. Gas peace. But it don't mean shit without a whole wave of campaigners fighting for them. You mean like young people? Yeah, fat chance of them getting off their phones and doing something. The women's movement, innovators, activists. <laughs> yeah, when the Chicago Cubs win the World Series, am I right? Well, the truth is that there's literally thousands of them fighting for the goals. I mean, this generation of young people is the most active generation for decades. And, and not that it's important, but the Cubs did also win the World Series, so. Shut up! You were there with me. Oh, yeah, I was at that game. 2016, yeah. Oh, that was fun. Listen, you've made your point, Billy. All right? But these are just kids with a dream. The global goals don't stand a chance without some sort of Avengers-style super team of optimistic, intelligent change makers with real power. And if you're telling me that that exists, then I'm a Dutchman. Well, about that. Just having one Dutch uncle by marriage does not make me Dutch. No. No, it was it's just on the subject of the whole global goals team of superheroes. Whoever you say, I'm not going to be impressed. President Macron of France? Mm. Malala? Prime Minister Trudeau? Grassa Michelle? Bill and Melinda Gates? Are they Bill's involved? Yes. Yeah. They're, they're called the goalkeepers. Yeah. Yeah? I know. I am sick up to here with your cynical and stupid attitude about these great global goals. And they are great, okay? We are gonna get them done and people like you are not gonna talk okay. me out of it. What the f***?